One in three Scots watching television last night tuned in to the first ever prime ministerial debate. The audience saw the leaders of Labour, the Conservatives and the Liberal Democrats challenge each other, but not the SNP, who were excluded. Our political correspondent, Raymond Buchanan, joined the country's oldest debating society to see what they made of the event. I'm Alastair Stewart, and for the first time on British So did you see it? Three quarters of a million Scots tuned in to last night's historic television contest as Clegg, Cameron and Brown made history. But not everyone was on the sofa. In Edinburgh, members of the English-speaking union gathered to cast their eyes on the contenders. Despite free-flowing wine, the atmosphere was sober, just like the leaders' discussion. But where minds changed... Um, I think Nick Clegg probably persuaded me the most. He certainly seemed the most personable, the most honest and the most open of the candidates. Well, from a debating perspective, the other two leaders were saying they agreed with him a lot, which effectively they meant that they conceded their arguments. He probably did emerge the winner, but we have to bear in mind that Nick Clegg was starting from a greater vantage point and that he didn't have to be defensive of his policies because his policies current aren't like, currently don't get that much scrutiny in Parliament. Missing from the contest were the SNP. The party's deputy, Nicola Sturgeon, had to watch along with the rest of the country. Now, our next question is on health, an area covered by devolution settlements in Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. And Some of the issues discussed don't affect Scotland, but there will be separate Scottish debates as the political drama of the election continues. Raymond Buchanan, reporting Scotland. Fourteen people have been injured after their coach overturned on the A9 in the Highlands.